much, honorable speaker, honorable councillors, officer chairperson of the ANC, Dr. Zamaniso, the NEC deployee to the Northern Cape, who come again, Colin Maine, representatives of Sarga, member of the Executive Council, representatives of various political parties, the municipal manager, and the management, members of the public, media houses present. Honorable Speaker, let me start by welcoming everyone that has made this connection with their presence. We are, we are great and appreciative of the support that you have given us in the build up to the 2021 local government district held on the 1st of November 2021. Let me also take. Let me also take. Let me also thank all citizens that have responded to the civil duty of ensuring that our democracy continues to thrive and mature through their participation in the, in the electoral processes. This year's elections demonstrated the thrives made over the past two decades since the first democratic elections that were held on the 27th of April in 1994. I also wish to humble myself in gratitude and humility for the honor that has been bestowed on me on behalf of the people of this great municipality. It could be a piece of me not to be grateful to the leadership of the ANC for trusting me with this responsibility to lead this collective of council in the journey toward growth and development. Let me also congratulate all the councillors that have been sought in today in office and remind all of us that the challenge to improve the lives of our people rests upon us, all of us. While I may also have been given an honor of leading this institution, it is only through working together in a collaborative manner that we can achieve meaningful success as an institution to overcome obstacles that have been thrown our way. I wish to implore and challenge all councillors not to use methods of service delivery to advance their own political interests in our communities. We are going to become councillors that are going to serve all people within our communities. We are going to be a difference in the Salt Lake municipality and we are going to work very hard to bring about change in our municipality. Through the vote that we have taken this morning, we have all committed to be servants of our people of this municipality. We also have to put their interests first before putting our interests first. Our interests will come last in this sixth administration conference. Let us all embrace the responsibility bestowed on us through our roles as public representatives with full appreciation and recognition of the dire circumstances in which our people find themselves. Again, comrades, I wish to make, I wish to make, I wish to make the giant call that we need to ensure that we put the interests of the people we serve ahead of ours and our own political interests. Allow me to thank all councillors that came before us in this municipality for the foundation they have laid in preparing the ground for us and ensuring that we have had an institution that is governed along good governance, government principles. Honorable councillors, as we are seeing office, we need to be cognizant of the challenges that faces the municipalities across the countries. And governments, we have been challenged by a pandemic, the COVID-19 governments. These are indeed at the times that we find ourselves in, 
and it is imperative that we continuously adjust our sense and traverse this difficult journey ahead of us. The stage of the pandemic has eroded sectors of the economy, making things, things very difficult when some of our people are losing their jobs, comrades. The duty that, that, that rests upon us as councillors is, is to reserve the economic losses and ensure that we bring about much needed development in the municipality. The weight, the weight of the expectation we carry cannot and should not be under, underestimated and understated, as it can be seen from the employment statistics that do not reflect a positive outlook for the next three years. The result of these challenges it is the, it is, it is the, the, the rotation of the social economic challenges resulting in poverty, unemployment, and unequal society met by social needs. However, we remain the hope that the people have for the better tomorrow. We are the hope that they have for the better tomorrow. We are the hope to have for a positive change in their lives and that of the, their communities. We need to accept that in order for these expectations to be realized, it is important that we reflect on how we have done things in the past. We need to access the effectiveness of those measures and systems and accept where they may not have given the desired outcome. Speaker, we need to make an introspection of the state of which our municipality finds itself. And we need to be critical of ourselves if we have a hopes of bringing about the positive change that our people much yet. In this regard, I wish to quote a son of the African continent and one of its greatest ever leaders to have raised Burkina Faso. Kobe Tsangara once said, you cannot carry out fundamental change without a certain amount of madness. In this case, it comes from non-conformity, the courage to turn your back on the old formulas, the courage to invent the future. It took the madman of yesterday of us to be able to act with extreme clarity today. I want to be one of those madmen. In analyzing the assertion by the great African leader, it is evident that we are, that we are required to act with speed, innovation, if you want to reserve the levels of poverty and address the endemic challenges of inequality and employment in the municipality. If we are to succeed, we need to do things differently. We need to be smart. We need to be innovative in our thinking. We also need to be decisive in our actions in order to achieve positive economic growth and financial growth in our municipality. The quote of the late president of Burkina Faso resonates with the call of the Premier of the Netherlands King, who Dr. Zamani so on the occasion of the inauguration of the sixth provincial administration in the Rato Park. When the Honorable Premier of the province was inaugurated in 2019, he proudly pronounced the vision of the province administration as towards a modern growing and successful Northern King. Through, through this clearly articulated vision, the Premier has put the challenge to us as a municipality to work towards efficiency, prudence, effectiveness, as an innovative manner towards attaining our objectives as an organization. The vision must also find expression in the local sphere of government, and it is indeed the responsibility of this council as led by the African National Congress. We also need to ensure that this vision permits to the lowest level. In this regard, we need to put measures in place to ensure growth in our municipality and ensure that the hearts of each and every action and decision that we take meets the people of Salt Lake. It is my belief that this term will, this term will be punctuated by a clear focus on addressing and providing basic services through well articulated strategies that will encapsulate, that will be encapsulated through the integrated development plan. We will address these challenges as a matter of priority in the next years. We need accelerated infrastructure development programs which focus on water and sanitation. We need to position the municipality as a Catholic destination of choice for investment. 
We need to uphold clean, ethical, transparent, and accountable leadership principles. We need to drive the municipality towards the implementation of a mixed energy implementation policy. We also need to create communities that are having editable, safe, and with necessary amenities for the development of our children. We need to improve our financial management systems and ensure that the municipality is financially sustainable. These priorities will be at the head of our agenda as we prepare to enter this new chapter. We go to those that have sacrificed their lives for, for the attainment of democracy. And we, did, and, and we dare not fail this mission to turn our municipality into a development hub in the Northern Cape. In conclusion, let me take this opportunity to thank my organization, the African National Congress, for the trust that they have shown me. I will always remain committed to the activities of the organization and be responsive to their calls when required. I wish to thank my parents for the support and the upbringing that they still me home and learn over the years. They remain the pillar of strength and the people I will always look up to in difficult and challenging times. I would like to, I would like, I would not have completed my attitude if I failed to acknowledge the leadership role and guidance provided by the regional chairperson of the ANC, Comrade Matika, in encouraging me, in encouraging me and providing much needed counsel throughout the election campaign and in the build-up to this event. Last three comments. My heartfelt appreciation and thanks also go to the ANC provincial chairperson, Dr. Zamani Soul, for the confidence shown in me and entrusting this important task. On my social, entrusting a young person like me for such a responsibility. For that, I will always be thankful and committed to, for, to perform the functions to the best of my capabilities. I always say this in each and every meeting when I have to respond this. I always say that. I forgot about the people who are comrades. I am here. You are going to say, we are going to deliver to our people. So we play the municipality will never be the same. We are going to provide services to our people. We are going to be full time on the ground comrades. We are going not to be office based, we are going to be full time on the ground comrades. We are going to ensure that we better the services in our communities. Thank you. Hey, my Especially a car, not a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little of a little bit 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 of a uh, this was a game-changing local elections whereby we, uh, we were part of the young people who contested and our message was reached by the top dogs because here today we have just delivered a young mayor. The, this comes as a result of all our efforts as different uh, uh, stakeholders or activists who want a change. So we are already smelling change that something is starting to happen. We will bring back the sparkle of our city. And then, oh, just a minute ago, I was joking, some other ANC guy was asking, 
why were they so much focusing in what 12 by the four way of Ulana and 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 and, and uh, 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 Chala? Then they were telling me that I was telling them that is it because of I was there and contesting there? But in any way, the message it has reached it has reached the voters, it has reached the people who are in power that uh, uh, we want change. We want we are ready for change in Kimberley, and the time for change is now. Let us hope for the best. Let me congratulate again the young man who has been uh, uh, who has been elected as mayor today. We are there to support him and also to hold him accountable. From Putana Phillips at 12, I thank you very much. I'm Chublis Mas from Watery. All I've wished for from seeing um, my wishes to see a political party, I'd wish for to see younger candidates to climb on chairs so that we can see if we can also run um, the municipality, whereby they're giving us a chance, whether it's PA, it's DA or it's EFF, I'd like them to choose a younger candidate so that the youth can be mobilized because the majority of the youth members are smoking drugs. And if you can see from my word what I'm talking about to get 11 years old smoking drugs and which is not fine. And I'm so happy for because of today's chairs that are in. All I'd wish for is to say them for a, a well done for them for being there in. But all we're wishing for is now for them to deliver on time. Stop promising people. Great Kimberly mm. and to, you, you see, like service delivering, maybe you will be more uh, 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 to think how to operate, maybe the portals. You will see all that kind of things because in, uh, in the past the mayors they don't think uh, uh, like uh, 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 what, uh, how the young people think. The young people maybe will show that young man. I don't know the speaker, but the young man maybe he will have the brains to upgrade Kimberley like the other cities like uh, Cape Town. Cape Town is very clean. Look how look here. it's dirty. You can come in the morning. Kimberley is dirty. Maybe that young man now you will clean Kimberley. You will keep Kimberley clean and the portals close. Thank you. delivery forum. The thing with a, with a, with a new mayor is he's young, he's vibrant, energetic. But the only problem that he's going to have inside council, inside any building where he's going to meet politicians, there's bulls there inside. Yes. Real Brahman Doran bulls. And he's going to have a tough time. And we, we know, since we are staying around in Kimberley, there's big manipulators that he's sitting with. He's not going to run Kimberley. He will never. I, I don't want to discourage the young man, but he is not going to succeed in it. Reason why? There's too much bullies in this city of Kimberley. So I don't know how is he going to get it right. But one thing I can say is going to need God in this, yes. and not himself. He's going to need people behind him. And the first thing that he must do, he must get the youth behind him. Because what I've noticed the 1st of November, the youth didn't vote. Yes. And this is a real stupid and funny trick of the ruling party to put a young man in front as a mayor. Reason why is the old people that voted the 1st of November, the youth wasn't there. And with this ordaining a young man as a mayor is a trick from the ANC to get hold of the youth. The ANC, the ruling party, needs to put his whole focus on the youth so that things can happen for the youth. Our young people are in drugs, they stabbing each other, they break in because of what? No one is taking care of them. And that is the work of the ruling party. So I think that's all that I can say, even as you can see here. It's young people. But if you have to ask, they were not at the voting stations. We saw the old people. The old people and the other swag, uh, 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 real, I, I'll call it swag because I, I, I'm expressing myself. Very swag point of, of the ruling party is to, to, to terrorize our people, our old people, the elderly people with the name Tata. Mandela is dead. Mandela didn't do his job to take the land 
from the white people. That's why we blacks, we are still struggling today. If he could have taken the land from the white people, because they've made a lot of money. They came and they, they, get, they got us here on this land that we are standing now. And still the Rupert is still busy eating our minerals. You can have a lot of money, but if you don't have the land, you have nothing. Because that money is going to get an end somewhere along the line. We are quite happy. We will speak on, on uh, the service delivery forum. Uh, we are quite happy that the community of Solplaiki managed to entrust the service delivery forum with three seats. Meaning that, um, that that three seats will be the voice of the over 6,000 vote uh, people in Solplaiki who are saying that the only thing that they want is service delivery. Ours was not to come here and bargain for positions and so forth. Ours is to express what the community of Solplaiki wants, which is service delivery. Um, we are saying enough of politics, enough of the lies, enough of the empty promises. Um, we are represented here by Dennis Pinar and Isau, Isau and, and Metsi Metsi. We entrust those community activists to ensure that um, the voice of our communities are expressed um, as we go forward with Sol Plaiki. Our interest was never on mayorship or speakership. So whatever happens, majority and numbers would speak when you come to council. We don't have enough, but we've got a voice that can speak in that um, <laughs> municipality to ensure that the voice of the community is expressed. That's all that we want. We don't have interest in uh, your mayorship and whatever. We hope that they will be able to listen and ensure that the communities of Salt Lake gets the services that are due to them. For 27 years, our people in Salt Lake have suffered. We hope that the community joins hands and makes sure that uh, as a service delivery forum, uh, we are able to express what we want in this concept. But other than that, we are happy with the peaceful proceeding. <laughs> But as a young maniki, but by a jonkers, but no one decorrupt, decorrupt. The way the ANC it was decorrupt, they decorrupt. I think ah 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 ah, here they are uncomfortable. And to say uncomfortable, but here they what what they ah dum dum shetty the way mad, I shetty so foot the idrak. To come die maniki, to come kahisho, to come kray kahisho. Daar die meierstoel. Ons is baie, baie blij. En ek wil vraag dat die hier om help. Die hier moet om kracht hier. Die hier moet sy swakke hand vang. Met sy sterke hand. Omdat hy is nog baie jong. En hy is nog een kind. En die pad wat hy moet loop, is baie lang. Maar hy kan nie die pad loop sonder rechtverdigheid. Hy kan alleenlik die pad loop met rechtverdigheid. En wanneer hy rechtverdig is. Maar as hy onrechtverdig is, ever by die pad. Dan ga je afdraaien, wat omdat je is onderverdig. No, that is history, ne? Because I think that is the is 27 years old. Is the youngest mayor in history, so in so like so I think that is awesome. That is a thing that our our youth can look up to now. <laughs> okay. Uh, from my point of view, from my point of view. Uh, the new mayor, it's a, it's a political suicide that the ANC choose. Because of, you can't choose someone who doesn't have a political education and you want him to run a big city like this. Uh, hence, hence the, the political landscape is changing uh, in the Sun Plague municipality. So that they, they've choose a young mayor who is not even capable to read a speech, the inauguration speech or on an inauguration day and you expect that person to be a a mayor of Salt Lake. This is a big city. This is not a rural area. But what I say, ANC, they just caused a very chaos and